Welcome back to IBL South by Southwest Expert Showcase. I'm here with attorney Nick Sally, and today we are going to talk about how do you navigate both sides of your career, law and spirituality. Yeah, great question, um, and it's one that's come up for me more often. Um, but I'll give you a quick background of my career just to give you some context. Um, I started my career probably over 20 years ago in marketing. I worked for EMI Music Marketing, which is uh, with Virgin and Capital, and I was the youngest marketing rep uh, in Dallas-Fort Worth and on my regional team. So I was doing that when I was about 22. And I worked with artists like um, 30 Seconds to Mars, and I supported other artists like Lenny Kravitz and Janet Jackson and Korn and so many others that I, I just really love. And that got me interested in entertainment law and okay. intellectual property. So yeah. it was great to help the bands and help their career and things like that. But I also thought I will have a bigger impact if I'm their manager or their attorney. So then I went to law school and I got my JD with a certification in intellectual property. Um, so that's kind of how I got started with this. Then after marketing, getting into law, um, I spent over a decade at Facebook doing IP and then doing marketing as well. Um, I was one of the first healthcare reps there, and I grew that team from about just myself to about 18 people in 18 months. Yeah. And the book of business I had for the advertising and, and marketing revenue was about eight figures per quarter that I was managing at the wow. time. And so um, I worked with different brands from Transcendental Meditation to United Healthcare to um, Better Help and just other tech companies that were in the health space. So it was really great to do that. And so I've got this really unique combination of yeah. law and tech and social media and marketing and things like that. And I really love helping entrepreneurs to build and grow their businesses. So that's a little bit about the trajectory and how I've got the corporate side of things. Yeah. Um, and then the spirituality. Tell us it. how listen, does this get woven listen, into friend. this? Yeah. I, for a long time, I thought I wanted to be a massage therapist, and I just never went into it. Um, and then I discovered Reiki, and yeah. um, I decided to get um, licensed or certified in that. So I'm a master Reiki healer. I took all the levels of the classes. And then um, once I started to look at different modalities of spirituality and kind of going on my own spiritual journey, that led me back to getting back into crystals and, and things like that and how they can balance out your energy. So that just kind of went along with Reiki. And then finally... Most recently, tarot, tarot card reading has been something that really spoke to me to help me utilize not only left brain, right brain, but like all the leadership things I have in corporate and law and the kind of masculine energy there, yeah. but then leaning into the feminine energy of intuition. And I will tell you right now, when I am counseling a client on trademark matters, I will pull a tarot card if, yeah. if I feel like it's going to help with some kind of clarity. Yeah. And they're very open to it. Um, I work a lot with six-figure women entrepreneurs who are either in corporate or they're, they're entrepreneurs in corporate where they have you know, a whole division they're building or they've left corporate to run their own business and they're really wanting to brand themselves in a unique way. So I'm kind of my own client. Yes, um, you my are. Own ideal client. And so um, a lot of them are creatives, influencers, authors, um, spiritual leaders, all of that. And so talking about spirituality it just comes up naturally and organically when i'm talking through their branding and their trademark risks and yeah. all the legal stuff so i've brought in tarot card reading and for me it's a matter of helping people understand that you can be your unique authentic self and still run your business and that when it comes to me being an attorney the fact that i read tarot cards doesn't take anything away from the legitimacy and the work and expertise and all the hours I've put in to being trained as an attorney and also supporting clients and serving yeah. as general counsel and startups and all that. Yeah. You know, it's not like, hey, I've introduced something new and my brain fell out of my head and rolled across the floor. Yeah. You know, I've retained all that knowledge. It's just that I'm using a different modality to support my clients. Very and the cool. same thing as a tarot card reader, if someone finds out I'm an IP attorney, I don't, you know, think that that takes away from my abilities and my talents um, to be an intuitive reader and to yeah. provide some insights to them. Incredible. Well, thank you for sharing that with us. And where could our viewers find you on social media if they want to tune in Absolutely. and figure out what you're up to? Um, so the best way to find me is on Instagram, okay. at Nick Sally. That's N-I-K-S-A-L-L-I-E. 
Um, and then my website is nicksally.com. So whether you're needing trademark help or branding help um, or a tarot card reading, all of those types of um, appointments are on my website or on Instagram when you click the link in the bio. So if you do need help with your branding or you've got questions on trademark applications and how to file those at the USPTO, or you just want some business insights from more of a spiritual standpoint, I am happy to help you. Please contact me and get on my calendar today. Well, thank you for being here. Attorney Nick Sally, this was awesome. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity.